Hi everyone, it's Sarah and I have a very special video for you today. So I was contacted by Penguin Random House and they asked if I would be interested in receiving a review copy of an adult coloring book and I was so happy <laughs> when I got that email because I have been very very intrigued by adult coloring books and I've definitely been wanting to give one a try. I just haven't push myself to spend the money on a book yet. So when they asked if I wanted to review one for free, I said, absolutely, please send me one. So they did. Um, they sent me this beautiful book. It's called The Time Garden. And on the cover, if you can see, there's gold foil leaves all over it. And hello, you have my heart right there. This book is by Daria Song. And the thing that makes this one pretty special, which I didn't realize before I got it, was this is actually like a story as well. So it's a storybook that you color in basically. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, I'll show you a couple of the images here really quick. This is the inside cover here. Um, so this is going to start out like this, has a clock there, and then it goes into the story. So there's an actual story that you read. Um, not every page has words as you can see, but the pictures do tell part of the story as well. And then there's um, a couple pages here and there that have uh, more of the story. So you have quite a few pages here for coloring. Let me see if I can find the next set of words. Um, but this is um, pretty intricate actually. Um, it goes a little bit back and forth like this one isn't super intricate but then uh, you get into something like this that has all these flowers that are pretty intricate as well. This one has some intricate stuff on here. Um, so I wanted to, okay there's some more words right there and here as well. So I'm very excited to get into this. I am going to go ahead and read through it first just to kind of see what the story is about and kind of get a feel for the tone of it and then I will start coloring it in. So for coloring I picked up these markers at Hobby Lobby. These are from Mayped and they're called um, Graph, Graph Peeps? Graph Peps? <laughs> I think that's what they're called there. Um, they have a very very fine point and that's what I really need. This has a point for point. And I need that in here for sure because um, there's a lot of intricate stuff in here. So let me go ahead and show you the tips really quick. Oops, there we go. So very fine, so I can get into a lot of those small little details. So I'm going to spend some time this week and do some coloring. I'm probably going to just turn on some Netflix and sit at my dining room table and just color away and watch some shows. Um, Kaylin, my daughter, has also asked if she can start coloring every day. So... Um, she has a lot of coloring books that she wants to color in as well. So I think we're going to make some time this week and do that together. So I'll color in mine, she'll color in hers. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and then I will be back in a few seconds um, with some of my progress and my kind of overall thoughts on the book. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so I have colored a page in this book. So the first thing that I did was I went ahead and I read through the whole thing and uh, just kind of got a feel for the story. It's very magical and it's just um, about a girl who kind of ends up going into this enchanted clock and um, just has some adventures and is not really sure what's going on. But it's really cool. So um, I just took some time one day, uh, well actually over a couple days, and I went ahead and did kind of the first little page here. And um, it, so I did this one here, and it took me a while. <laughs> it was nice though because it was very relaxing. I just turned on some Netflix and just sat down and did some coloring. I could also do that with um, an audiobook if I wanted to, you know, just have an audiobook playing in my ear and... Um, do that. I don't know what's happening here. I'm, I'm going to take the cover off of it actually <laughs> so I can kind of do this easier. Okay so I did this clock here and I did use these markers and I was a little bit afraid at first that it was going to bleed through. It doesn't completely bleed through. You can kind of see it a little bit on this side but it's really not that much and I think you know once I color her in it's not going to be as noticeable so you really can't see it through that much. You can tell I colored on it, but I can't see individual colors or anything. So um, pleasantly surprised that these markers were pretty good for here, and I think I will use these throughout the whole book. 
A lot of people also use colored pencils in here, which is great. And that's also really great, like if you want to do shading and kind of blend colors and stuff like that, colored pencils are great for that as well. So um, if I get into this, I may start, I may like pick up a nice set of colored pencils or something. But as you can see, um, I got into the really good details of this. And yeah, it was just fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, it was very relaxing. And, um, you know, when I started coloring, my seven-year-old came up and she's like, I want to color too. So she grabbed a coloring book and her own markers and we sat together and colored. So that was fun. But this is great. Um, this is the only page that I have done so far, but I will definitely continue on into this. As you can see, like some pages, you know, this one only has really two images to color and then this one is huge. So, <laughs> um... It kind of goes back and forth between being really big graphic stuff and kind of smaller details and things like that. But this book is great. Um, and like I said, this one is called The Time Garden and it's by Daria Song. And this is available now. So if you want to grab a copy for yourself, I will have the link for Amazon in here so you can grab it as well and uh, from what I am seeing um, there's actually going to be a follow-up to this one as well so if you end up getting this and like coloring in it and like the story and everything there's going to be a follow-up to this as well her the girls um, her adventure is going to continue so that will be fun all right so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, if you guys are into coloring books and you have some of your favorites link them down below for me so I can check those out as well because this is something I think I definitely want to start getting into a little bit more. All right, that's it for me. So once again, thank you Penguin for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to have a lot of fun coloring in here. And like I said, I will have the link if you want to purchase this coloring book in the description below. It's a really great one. It's really great quality. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll be back again soon. Bye.